I just need a little of your time. Oh, 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 you're here. Uh, sorry. Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to 10 on YouTube. Um, this is gonna be a short episode because I just want to remind you, um, people who don't know this TV show should watch this episode. If you know, if you know this T, if you know this TV show, stop watching it because, because you're, you're gonna know it. Now, I'm gonna just give you a very... I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the best show that's ever been made in history and deserve a second chance on TV. It's a nine, it's a nineties, it's a nine, it's a kids, it's a nineties kids game show from Nickelodeon. That's host Kirk Falk, and if you know this, and, and if you're still watching this, and you know who Kirk Falk is, you know right away what what kid game show this is. Yeah, that's right, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Please ignore Molly's craziness. She's she's being a cute little lunatic. Anyway, Legend of the Hidden Temple. What can I say? The best show in the world. I love it. I love it so much. How do I know it? You ask. Because it's from nine. Because if, if you're still watching this, you must be asking. How do you know this show? You're like what fifteen? Yes, I am fifteen. But I know the show from Nickelodeon Gas when it showed its reruns. Now. Let me just let me just tell you, this show is amazing. I love that it gives out facts. It just it gives out. It's very skilled and it's just amazing. It's just it's 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 a unique game show, the most unique show I've ever seen in my life. And yes, even more unique than Phineas and Ferb, Cold Yogo, even iCarly, even the Amanda Show. I swear, even more than Nickelodeon Guts, more than shows that you love like SpongeBob. Yeah, I even loved Legend of the Hidden Temple more than I loved Spongebob when I was a kid. I swear, it's true. I even love it more than Blue's Clues. Even more than you than you kids that love Adventure Time and Regular Show and Gumball. The, wor amazing, the amazing world of Gumball or so. Anyway, now let me just say. It's about, it's about, it's this, Legend of the Hidden Temple is this game show in which it goes through four rounds. Ooh, dad's home. Anyway, it goes through four rounds. The first round is when you have to cross a moat. It's it it, it main the, the whole show is basically explained by this by this tiki head named Olmec, named after a group from millions of years ago named Olmec. Relation to when they created chocolate, and Olmec is voiced by D. Bradley Baker. You might know him as voicing Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb, and maybe. Appa, no, no, well, that animal from Avatar The Last Airbender, and and even from shows like Spongebob, it's Bubble Bass, and Squillium Fancy Sun, and other shows. Even Adventure Time. And yes, even Niho Kailan. Sadly, it's true. He was even in live action stuff beside Legend of the Temple, like Big Time Rush. You know what, that doesn't matter. I, I can't, here, I don't even think this is going to be a short episode. So yeah, I forget I said the short thing before. Anyway... So, the first round, there are six teams that have to cross the moat, which are the Red Jaguars, the Blue, the blue Barracudas, the Green Monkeys, the Orange Iguanas, the Purple Parrots, and the Silver Snakes. Yeah, six teams, that's why I have the thumb right here. The first four teams that go through the moat and hit their gong go on to round two, which is a step of knowledge. That's when Olmec explains the legend that you have to retrieve, that, well, that the team has to retrieve. And... The first two teams that are able to step on their marking in front of them and get a right answer and get moved on to the next level, to make it to the bottom level, we'll go to round three and we'll verse each other for three temple games to get penance of life, which which will they will be needing for temp to to trade for temple guards as they make their way to the temple. Now, as I said, there are three temple games and the fr and that's round three. I think it's three. Yeah. So. Sorry about all this rubbing around. I I'm autistic. Don't don't judge me. Anyway, so the show is well, yeah. So whichever team goes, whichever team gets more of a pennant, like they get a ha a pennant and a half, or two pennants, two full pennants of life, they go on to the temple. They go on to the temple, which is round four. Now they have to retrieve an item, like um, like some kind of map or whatever it is. I'm not really sure. Um. Uh, and if they can, and, and, 
Now, if they now if they get three prizes, the first prize they receive automatically, no matter what happens. And and se and and the second prize they get, they, then the second prize they'll get if they grab the item within three minutes, because they have to go through the temple in three minutes. Now, just remember, there are old, there are, there are there are temple guards that go through that are designed to, that that they they hide in three specific rooms. The first time they get caught, they can trade a pendant. Uh, they can uh, they can trade a, trade a pendant for an extra life and go on. But if they caught, but the second time they're caught, they'll be taken out of the temple. And the second player on the team, yeah, there are two, there are two, there are two per peep, there are two people on a team. And it'll be the per the other person's t t turn and try their and try his or hers luck. And the third, anyway, the third prize they will get if they get they can get the item out of the temple before three minutes is up. Which is a trip to somewhere. Like they usually do Rose and Ranch, or maybe they do a boat to Mexico, airplane to Mexico. Yeah, you get the idea. Or maybe Space Camp in Alabama or Florida. So they, so yeah. Just, just now. Now this show has three seasons and 120 episodes. How is that possible, you ask? Well, they had 40 episodes every season. There was supposed to be a fourth season, but I'm not really sure why they canceled it. Possibly because of you know who, T H U R S D A Y. I blame him. And it hasn't been able to have a chance to come back on TV. The only reason why it comes back on TV is the 90s are all that, which is which, which retardedly it it comes on at midnight. I I don't even get why. I don't get why. So if you don't know the show, go on YouTube while well, you're on YouTube, look it up and watch it. It's the best show ever. Best show in the world. Yeah. The best show ever. It, I, I love it so much. You'll love it so much. Now just remember, this takes place from 1993 to 1995, and it was filmed in Nickelodeon Studios and Universal Studios Florida. Now I explained this as best as I could, and I have to go. So see you next time on see you next time on Turn on YouTube. Bye.